the circuit amplification factors alpha and beta and their relationship these are things we are going to see it now so based on the changes you are able to see the brightness of the light is controlled that's current amplification the current amplification factors or current gain of your transistor is the ratio of the output current to the input current if the transistor is connected in common base mode the current gain alpha is equal to i collector output divided by the input i emitter and if the transistor is connected in common emitter mode common emitter mode you got beta is equal to i collector divided by i base so current in base a npn transistor connected in the common base and common emitter configurations will be shown this is common base with the npn transistor you are able to see the common base and common emitter configurations for npn transistor since 95% of the injected electrons are reach the collector the collector current is almost equal to the emitter current almost all transistor will be having alpha in the range of 0.95 so alpha is equal to i collector divided by i emitter as you know i emitter is equal to i base plus i collector so substituting your value ie with ib and ic you got the equation as this one so 1 by alpha is equal to reversing it ib plus ic divided by ic it's nothing but ib divided by ic plus 1 so 1 by alpha minus 1 is equal to 1 by beta so 1 by beta is equal to ib plus ic divided by ic so which indicates a beta is equal to alpha divided by 1 minus alpha usually b lies between 50 and 300 some resistor will be having beta as high as 1000 itself let's move on to the current amplification factors alpha and beta and their relationship you are able to see the common base mode here and you got a common electro emitter mode here with the batteries in both ends. 